We're going to look at uh, Stellarium, where I have Stellarium sitting there. And we are in Colombia. We are in Colombia. We're on the equator, or close to it. So, I just want to explain what I have on the screen here so everybody understands. We're looking north from the equator, uh, um, almost the equator. See that star right above the end? That is the center star that all the stars go around. The north, the pole star, whatever you want to call it, Polaris. So if we go like this, and if we go forward in time, we're going to see the stars going counterclockwise around that north star, right? Very simple. Counterclockwise rotation. Well, all these comments I get tell me, and, and Craig from Fight the Flat Earth told me, no, at the equator, they switch directions. Sorry about that. Okay, so see how Polaris is right about at the horizon? So we're about at the equator looking north. And that's what we see. We see that counterclockwise rotation. If we turn ourselves around, we're going to see very much the same thing, but the rotation is obviously going to appear to be the different direction because yeah, we're you, turning again, around. Only you, this, I don't understand. You keep saying things that only work on the globe, and I don't understand how you don't see that they... I don't think that only it only work works on the globe. On a globe. I think there's a, a, a very good explanation of how it works over a flat Earth. There isn't one, though. What I'm saying is anywhere you go in the northern hemisphere, at, uh, above the equator, or you're going to see the stars doing circles around Polaris. Would you agree? I mean, that's yes. what you see. That's what I see. Yeah. Now, if you go to Australia, if you go to Australia, you're going to see the same thing, but you're going to be looking at the south center of rotation. But it's south. Like what I'm saying is, uh. Uh, Again, I made which a is video. something that's only possible on the globe. Uh, this this is what's blowing my mind here. You okay, tell me why it's only possible only... on the globe. Because the Earth tell me is why. flat, you couldn't have counter-rotating star trails. Well, they're not counter-rotating. They're all they rotating the same direction. The, it's, if it's you look because... up at the sky, they appear to rotate in counter-rotation in, different, in different ways. That's undeniable. It's because you turned around. And that would not... Yeah, but okay, that would mean that the flat Earth was inside out, though. No, 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 no. Yeah. no, let me explain. Uh, I think you can understand this. I think you can understand because I, I, I remember the last debate we had or last time or one of them, uh, you had mentioned that at the equator that the stars switch directions, like the, ro the, the right. direction of rotation switches. And that's not true. At, it, no matter where you are, if, if you're in the north, uh, you're going to have the stars rising in the east and setting in the west, correct? Yes. And it's the same in the south. It's you turning around that makes them appear to be going a different direction. Well, I'm here to show you how simple it is of a misunderstanding. Okay, so we're just going to look at this again. We're going to go back to there. Okay, so we're going to go forward in time. So like as time goes, the direction that time goes and watch the stars going in a counter or anti-clockwise right okay so now we will simply turn around to the south and we will look now going forward in time just like time goes we are seeing clockwise rotation you see that are the stars going the same direction yes let me show you what I mean okay let's look into look to the west okay now as we go let me skip back here okay as we go forward in time we're going to see the stars going down towards the horizon setting right setting in the west no matter if you're looking north. They're still setting in the west. Or if you're looking south. They're still setting in the west. Even though they're going... From your point of view, they're going different directions. They're going 
opposite direction of each other, but that's because you turned around. Don't turn around. We're gonna go around the world a little bit on Stellarium just so I can show this over and over again. Okay, going forward, clockwise, looking south, okay? Clockwise, looking south. We turn around to the north. Counterclockwise, anti-clockwise, whatever you want to call it. Looking to the north. Setting in the west. We turn to the east. Rising in the east. Okay? We're at the equator in Colombia. So now, here's where we were. Right there in Colombia. Okay? So that's where we were there. Now we're going to go to where I live, which is at in Minnesota at 45 degrees. And now we're going to look north again. Okay. Same thing. Anti-clockwise around the same star. But you notice the star's in a different position now. Remember it was right above the N before? When we were south farther? That's because how uh, everything in the sky ever that's going away from you will appear to go down towards the horizon. As you go further away from it, it's going to get closer and closer to the horizon. Um, very much like a jet flying away from you. Um, it's eventually going to run into the trees and then you won't be able to see it anymore. This is very much the same of what Polaris is doing here. Is we're closer to Polaris now than we were in Colombia. Anti-clockwise, okay? Now we simply turn around to the south, and what, are you, what do you expect to, for us to see? I expect us to see the same thing again. Clockwise is what I expect to see. There we go. Setting in the west, rising in the east. Okay, now let's go somewhere south. Let's go to Argentina. Let's go to Argentina. Okay, and we will use this location because that's further south. All right, what do you expect to see? I expect to see the exact same thing. Anti-clockwise in the north, clockwise in the south. So here's the south is moving clockwise around a point right about here. There's not necessarily a bright star there, but there's a center point, right? There's an axis. There's a center of rotation but it's clockwise now I simply turn around to the north and anti-clockwise setting in the west rising in the east no matter where you are in the world this is what you will experience in the sky